Bro, your beginning was on Utva. You were a piece of sperm. If you were on the floor, brother, I wouldn't have picked you up if you paid me. And we think we're something. So we say, Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen. Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen. All praise is due to Allah. All praise is due to Allah. Praising anything other than Allah, you're wasting your time, brother. He says, Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen. The Lord of the worlds. The Lord of the worlds. What is he referring to? It is said that the sun, the sun, which is the smallest star, the sun, which is the smallest star in our galaxy. It's the smallest one in our galaxy. And our galaxy is one of billions. Did you hear that? One of billions. This sun that is millions of times bigger than the earth. And it's the smallest star. They say if one second, one second was given to name every single star that's in our galaxy, not the other ones, just in our galaxy, it is said you will need 600 trillion years and you still wouldn't name them all. And that's in our galaxy. And our galaxy is one of millions and millions that's out there. And all of this is in the first heavens. All of this is in the first heavens. He says, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, we've heard this many times, my brothers, but where is the heart? Where is the heart when you stand before your Allah and you say, Alhamdulillah, that all praise is due to Allah. Rabbil, Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen, the Lord of the worlds. He says, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he says the distance between the first heaven and the second is like a ring in a desert. A ring in a desert. You know what he's saying? Yeah, and it's not existent anymore. Can you even see a ring in a desert? If we were to take an eye picture, right, a bird's eye view of the desert, could you even see the ring? Could you possibly even see the ring? He says, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he says the distance between the first heaven and the second is a distance of 500 years. He says the second to the third is a distance of 500 years. He says the third to the fourth is a distance of 500 years. He says the fourth to the fifth is a distance of 500 years. He says the fifth to the sixth is a distance of 500 years. He says the sixth to the seventh is a distance of 500 years. Above that is an ocean. Above the seventh heaven is an ocean. The distance of which is a distance of 500 years. And then the throne of Allah. He says all the seven heavens to the throne of Allah is like a ring in a desert. He says, and then the throne of Allah Azza wa Jal. He says, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam in the hadith, he's sitting with the Sahaba. He says to them, you know, I hear what you don't hear and I see what you don't see. He says, verily the heavens have squeaked. He says, he says, Attat is sama wa hukka laha an ta'id. He says, verily the heavens, my brothers, they've squeaked and they have every single right to squeak. He says, for there isn't a space for four fingers, except there is an angel in prostration to Allah. He says, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, that on top of the Kaaba is a house there is a house that is on top of the Kaaba that is in the heavens. He says every single day, 70,000 angels go in, make tawaf, and they never come back. Every single day, there's a new batch and a fresh load of 70,000 angels, and they never come back. Allah, who is Rabbil Alameen, He's Lord of the worlds. Where are we then? Where are we? Where are we? And brothers walk around on the streets with a big chip on his shoulder and who is shagli? That I'm something brother. 
He has a tat on his neck, now I have to respect him. He's been in the gym for a couple of weeks. Huh? Heading up a couple of cycles of juice. His t-shirt, he's wearing his son's t-shirt. Right, but because his chest and because his shoulders are coming out of the shirt, I gotta respect him, bro. He's something. He's something, you know, because his forearms are a little bit bigger than yours. Or maybe because his car is worth sixty, seventy thousand dollars dollars So I'm kicking back, brother. What you looking at, bro? Now, who are you, man? Now, what are you, bro? Where, now, honestly, where were you 100 years ago? You're nothing. Allah says you weren't even in existence, bro. You didn't even exist. You didn't even exist. And you're walking around like you're something. Bro, your beginning was a nutfah. You were a piece of sperm. If you were on the floor, brother, I wouldn't have picked you up if you paid me. And we think we're something. SubhanAllah, you know, Shaykh al-Islam ibn Taymiyyah, he says it's amazing that how can the one who passed through the passage of urine twice have pride in his heart, man? <laughs> you forget where you came from, bro? <laughs> Do you forget? There was a pious man who was sitting and, you know, everyone's coming in and respecting him, mashallah, and so this very simple, ordinary man walks by and doesn't acknowledge his existence altogether. So this guy, you know, he was, he was, he was cut a bit. You know, he's pious, but... Everyone else is giving me status. And this guy who's a nobody, it's not like he's something. He's a nobody, walks by and doesn't even acknowledge my existence. So he gets up and goes over to the man. He says to him, do you know who I am? He says, yes, I know exactly who you are. He says, in fact, he says, I know you better than you know yourself. So the man buckles. He says, what do you mean you know me better than I know you? He says, your beginning was a piece of sperm and your end is a dead carcass. And in between, you're a vessel that carries around urine and feces. What are you? What are you? Compared to Rabbil Alameen.